Hold up, Scorpio. Welcome to your What's Going On Behind Closed Doors reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot and Scorpio. <clears throat> this here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith signs. Now, if it resonates with you, then go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, okay? Scorpio, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about that because you already know that I'm going to get you next time. You already know, Scorpio. We and I already talked about this and we came to the conclusion that, yeah, I'm going to get you next time. Now, Scorpio, this Behind Closed Doors segment is about your person. Like what it is that they are keeping from you, what secrets they're harboring, how they're feeling about you that they're not saying, uh, you know, what are their intentions towards you? Like what the heck are they even doing in your life right now? Like what do they want with you, Scorpio? Okay. And also if they are dealing with somebody else, what's going on behind closed doors with them and that other person too, you know? Uh... Here is that Divine Doors Tarot that I have for you. And I uh, shuffled about a hundred times and this door came out. Okay, this is the door that you got. Now, this door can lead to basically anywhere. It looks like, you know, there is some type of um whole bunch of decorations and, you know, some type of words that are engraved up here at the top of the door. All right. So, uh, let's see what it says in the back. It says, uh, Jude's song, okay? Jude's song. And your message goes, a reminder for you, even in the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. Okay. Strange place. To find peace, Scorpio. So, let's see what the heck that's talking about. Here is the uh, Barberry Zodiac Oracle cards, and I shuffled about 100 times. And these three cards just came flying out for you, Scorpio. You're dealing with a fire sign. Somebody who's very passionate about you. Somebody who just wants to bathe you in the lava of their love and their desire and their heat. That is... Uh, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius in particular because Sagittarius came out, okay, twice, all right, Sagittarius came out twice, so it's like, okay, uh, you may be dealing with the Sagittarius mainly out of those fire signs, you also dealing with a air sign, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this person is very like, uh, up in their head they're very like a uh, mental all right psychological person this person is like somebody who is so smart like the professor type you know they're this person who like to teach they're this person who like to you know give information you know what i'm saying there's somebody like that they want to uh share with the world what they know okay also very sensual flirtatious and fun Okay, now Scorpio, I got the Menara once again, baby. The Menara. Well, these are about to clearly be my favorite deck. Okay, let me call upon my higher self, call upon my ancestors, and Panatharu, the guardians, as well as the universe to get this accurate and clear message for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, okay? One more shuffle. If I can get it right. Okay, one more shuffle. <clears throat> okay, Leo. I mean Scorpio. Maybe dealing with the Leo. Let me get some water. Hmm. Okay, Scorpio, let's get it. What messages do we have for Scorpio? 
Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in regards to their person. Two cards came out. See what they are. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Scorpio. Air energy. Uh, the fire of air. Somebody is uh, just got their eye on you. Okay. They uh, sitting up here don't have on anything hardly at all. This little string here is only covering up their wand. Okay. They uh, are thinking about you and thinking about um, coming towards you to do what exactly? Uh, to ravish your body. Okay, they want to ravish your body. They want to pull down your 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 drawers and go ahead and get the wand. Oh, they want the kitty, and and they want to bring help too. Okay, so they have a friend who is also interested in you, also wanting the wand, also wanting the kitty. Okay, yeah, they want you pretty bad, Scorpio. All right, they want to feel all on your. All on your chest, rub all on your breast. I mean, look, this person, look, you, they want you in complete and utter agony. Complete and utter agony. Or, this may not be somebody who has another person with them. This may just be how much they want to ravish you that they feel like there's two people here, okay? They got your they got your boxers off and the next thing you know, they up on your your neck and on your your uh your nipples and whatnot, all over your your neck, you know? But <laughs> you wondering how the heck they do that and got their legs all around you when they were just down there by your side. So yeah, they wanna be really all over you, okay? Hmm. What other messages do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. What other messages we have for Scorpio? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, snap. <laughs> you see what well, I took too long to come out. You don't even see them coming, Scorpio. Okay. So you uh sitting up here looking all pretty, looking uh with your dress on and having your legs showing. Okay, you just uh, with your with your uh, high heels on and and you just all into your book right here drinking your coffee All right, you don't see this person right here Coming up on you. Okay, they're coming up on you Scorpio. They coming up on you to ravish that body because That's what they've been thinking about you're dealing with the air energy the air energy deals with the thinking man, the thinking woman, all up in their daggone head about you, okay? Now, let's pull out the sexual magic tarot, all right? Get some more messages about this person coming up on you like this. Like, what the, what the heck, man? So, by the time you look up, now, Scorpio, you, you, you know, you just got this little short thing on, so, uh, it's not going to be hard for them to go ahead and, and get you naked, okay? So they probably invite you back to their house for some coffee. I don't see them doing this outside. You're in the house here. They probably invite you back somewhere to talk. Maybe in the car. Maybe, yeah, back to their house. Come on and go with me. <laughs> to my place. You know that's on my place. By Teddy Pendergrass. Somebody coming up to you, rapping to you like that in your air. <laughs> Doing the Teddy Pendergrass. Come on and go with me. <laughs> and you're like, well, as long as there is no pressure, you know. As long as there is no pressure. I, I can't stand pressure. And they're like, oh, no, baby, there ain't going to be no type of pressure. Okay. <laughs> then they get you back to their house. And that's when they got this daggone smile on their face. The whole daggone time, you coming back to their house with them, uh, Scorpio, okay? Because when you get there, it's on. It's on. Now, I don't see them using force against you. I see you in ecstasy here, all right? I see you looking like you enjoying the whole thing, all right? And pulling off your clothes like that and all up in it. <laughs> 
All right. Last shuffle. Last shuffle. Uh, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right. Yeah. So let's see what else is going on here. Okay. High Priestess just flipped out. They know what the heck they wanted while they talking to you like, uh, come on back to my place and I'll, you know, we could just sit down and talk and have some daggone coffee. They know what the heck they want, Scorpio. They know what the heck. Up there trying to trick you to come to their house so they can go ahead and get their groove on. Yeah, they've been plotting this with, with, uh, the high priestess. And Scorpio... Somewhere deep inside you, you know this too, man. You know this person don't want to just talk to you with you sitting up there looking all fine and, and sexy like this. You know daggone well this person don't just want to talk to you, man. You know this person going to want to do something. And you know maybe somewhere in the back of your mind you like you want to do something too, okay? <laughs> All right, this car came flying out. Ooh. Secrets, the daggone moon. Yeah, they're keeping that a secret. This person that's talking to you, they could be uh, at a club or something or at a bar coming up to you or at a restaurant coming up to you and trying to, you know, wrap that game in your ear like, you know, you're looking so fine to me. I can't believe how beautiful you are. You're some type of angel or some type of thing they saying to you, Scorpio. Something like, you know, that's going to get your attention. <laughs> Something that's going to get your attention because they want you back at their house. All right. You could be dealing with a, a cancer Pisces. They want you back at their house so they can be all over your breast like this. Okay. Yeah. They want you back there with them, and they know that that was their intentions, being all sneaky and secretive and whatnot, talking all this game. They know they wanted to make you their lover. Yeah, they know they wanted to. Now, there are two people here, and then there are two people here. So, it could be saying that maybe they got somebody back at their house that they want you to meet. Okay, they want you to meet this person so y'all can go ahead and have a threesome. It could be saying that, or it could be saying that uh, they just got out of some type of relationship and they're looking for a good time. They're looking for you know uh, some type of love or some type of sex, some type of you know uh, good time. They're looking for a lover. They're looking for a lover because that's what they need. They're the type of person that need a, a lover in their life. With the Knight of uh, Wands here. Now this person, uh, when they, they're coming at you with the wand, okay? They're coming at you with the wand. Yeah, here we go. The wand is showing here a little bit, right? So they're coming at you with the wand, the Knight of Wands. <laughs> coming at you with the kitty. That's their intention. I'm going to keep reiterating that as long as the card's telling me that, Scorpio. Because <laughs> I know you're like, well, how many daggone times you going to say that, Cosmic? I get the picture. But the cards keep coming out that this person wants to just take you back to their place and remove your clothes, rubbing all over your body. Okay, look look at this card. Yeah. Yeah. They probably try to get you in the car, Scorpio. Probably try to get you in the car, in the ride. <laughs> what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. Now here's the uh, Seven of Swords here. Because they know they was being sneaky. They know they was being sneaky when they brought you back to their house. They knew that they wanted to have sex with you. Okay. They knew that they wanted to take uh, the wand. They wanted to take the kitty. They knew this. They act like they wasn't trying to do that. And then after you guys... Finish having sex. It looks like um they start feeling bad about it because they got you back to their house under some false pretense. Okay. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Let's see what else is going on here. Or they're upset. Or and and or they're upset that it has to end. Okay. They're upset. This is the death card here. This is you, Scorpio. You you about to uh, go ahead and end it. Yeah, y'all went ahead and and had all types of 
uh, hot burning sex that night, but it's time for you to go ahead and go back home, right? And this person feels bad about you about to leave, okay? They don't want you to leave. They want you to stay with them in their house as their lover. And they just want to take care of everything. They want to take care of your bills. They want to take care of you, okay? That's what they want to do. They don't want you to leave, okay? But you got things to do. Damn it, you got a job, you got a house, you got responsibilities. You can't just think this person uh just going to have you in the bed with a wand all the time with your clothes off. And, you know, you don't mind coming back to seeing them from, from time to time and getting in the bed with all your clothes off and letting them go ahead and give you the wand from the back. Hey, you don't mind that, Scorpio. But damn it. They can't try to hold you hostage. <laughs> they can't try to hold you hostage and make you feel bad that you got a life that you got to get back to. No. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. All right. <laughs> yeah, you can come back and meet them at the bar, at the, uh, at the club, or at the restaurant that y'all met at. Okay, you could do that. That's what you're telling them. That you can come back and meet them again, you know, where you can go ahead and, and use your, your foot plan footsie in between their legs because because you really enjoy that wand. Or <laughs> or they convince you to come back to the bar or the club or the restaurant and meet them again where uh, they put in their foot all up in between your legs. Or they could be doing it at their house trying to convince you to stay, Okay. Got you at the table right here where they're offering you up some coffee and conversation while you're sitting up there dressed and ready to leave. And they got their foot all in between your legs again, trying to uh, rise, uh, rise the wand once again <laughs> to keep you there because they just want you to stay. Scorpio, they just want you to stay. So you try to leave and they ain't trying to let you go. Okay. Here is the, the nine of swords. You try to leave. You get up from the table like, look, I got to go. I got to work tomorrow. And then you walk over to the daggone door. And here they are behind you. They um, took off their clothes and pulling off your clothes too. Okay? Like you, they don't want to give you any kind of rest because this person has such a hot and, and uh, you know, like I said, the, the fire energy right here. They can't get it off of their mind with the air energy, okay? They are just wanting to have sex with you, just wanting you in the house, in the bed, with your clothes off, and they don't care that you got a job. They got money. They have money, and they just want to take care of you, okay? They want you. They probably want you to go ahead and quit your job so they can go ahead and take care of you. You just met this mom. <laughs> you going to quit your job. You just met this fool. This person crazy. Now let's go ahead and um get you some love oracle cards number three to get you some more messages. Man, they want you to give up everything. Hold you hostage in the house. Scorpio. Mmm. Now you know you are sexy and everything. You just can't help but to be. You can't help but to be. You rule sex, Scorpio. You rule the sex. Your sign rules the sexual organs, okay? So that means you're the 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 emperor, the empress of sex here. And when you had sex with this daggone person, you blew their damn mind, okay? You blew their mind. And now this person's like, oh, hell no. Nah. I can't let Scorpio go. What? You think I'm going to let you? <laughs> no, I got to get you back in the bed, baby. Now nah, I gotta get you back in the bed. Look, call out sick today. Call out sick today. And then you call out sick that day, and they want you to call out sick the whole daggone week. And you're like, nah. Now you're thinking, well, I got some vacation days. Maybe I should go ahead and take them, you know, because we're coming up on the holidays, right? And happy holidays, Scorpio. <laughs> happy holidays. Okay, I didn't haven't been saying that to everybody, but I'm gonna start saying that. But anyway, um, yeah. You know, so you think you can go ahead and, and, and take your, your holidays and uh, go ahead and let this person just ravish your body. Because you enjoying it, Scorpio. Don't act like you're not enjoying this person. Okay? 
<laughs> you don't want it to end either, but you have a life to go back to. You have a life to go back to. You may have family. You may have children. You know, not small children because you wouldn't be spending the night at somebody's house if you had small children. But maybe older children that can go ahead and take care of the house while you're gone. Now, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus family. Thank you. Graduate. So, yeah, they, you know, the new life phase or stage in the relationship, you know, they want to heal their wounds because they had somebody in their life, like I said, that they went ahead and broke up with or who broke up with them. And they need you to uh, help heal the wound that they have, okay? They need to uh, heal that wound with you by having sex with you because having sex with you heals the wound. This person wants to heal from the baggage that was their last relationship, okay? You know, they don't want to hang on to the past heartaches and heartbreaks and, and hurts and trust issues. And, you know, they want to have a relationship where those things are not impacted in that relationship. So it's going to start off as just sex with y'all, but then it's going to graduate to something else. Baby, it's going to graduate to something else. This person um, is going to tell you about their deal breakers or you're going to tell them about your deal breakers. You have a list and you want to adhere to this list of deal breakers because you know that the universe will support you, okay? And staying true to yourself, Scorpio, okay? So if this person is just all about the sex and you just blew that damn mind... Because they know the grass is greener with you. The sex is better with you. You know how deep you are. I mean, Scorpio is the most profound sign of the zodiac. You deep as hell, Scorpio. Okay, you deep as hell. And you know this person, what they want. Because you can see straight through their ass at the club, at the bar, at the restaurant. Okay, you, wanna, you saw straight through their ass, Scorpio. You know you did. You know you're dead. <laughs> Here we got passing up options. Too quick to decide. They don't, you know, you don't, you don't want to be too quick to decide uh, on this person, okay? You want to take time to get to know this person. You know, y'all started off doing the, the, the freaky dicky, but now you're ready to, you know, get to know just who this person is and... What type of person are they to think that you're just supposed to give up your daggone life uh, to come in the bed with them? Okay, leveling up. You deserve the best. Yeah. Major improvement. Okay, you want to know what type of inner work have they done. All right? Because you want to know if they have dealt with those past hurts. Because they just came out of a daggone relationship. So you don't know if they dealt with the past hurts. And nine times out of ten, Scorpio, you can see that they are still in pain. And they just need you, the, your comfort, you know, your love, your affection to heal them. Because it's like, you know, they just... uh have been disappointed by this person who was in their life. And by you being in their life, they feel that they're leveling up something, you know. They're leveling up to another whole uh, degree with you in their life because they can see that you are as profound as you are and that you will be somebody in their life that will make them a good partner. But they're still dealing with the past hurt and the past pain, okay? Now here's the uh, dark mirror. Get you a few shuffles, Scorpio. Yeah. Yeah, so this person, they, they need you. They need your body. They need your body. That's what they need. They need your comfort, okay? They need you, Scorpio. Now, there's a difference with somebody who just wants you and somebody who actually needs you, okay? Now, we all want to feel like we're needed. There's nothing wrong with being needed. As a matter of fact, it's better to be needed than anything. How I feel. Than, than just wanting to have a sex with you, but actually needing 
your touch okay actually needing your uh your sex needing you in the bed with them needing you in the house with them that's good and bad too scorpio okay that's good and bad too because this person who you're dealing with uh may become obsessed with you with having sex with you it look like they already are there okay they already are there let me get you one more shuffle all right but scorpio i don't know what you expected baby i don't know what you expected this person uh this person um Was going to get addicted to you. They was going to get addicted to you, Scorpio. Sexually. <laughs> what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Alright. This one came out and this one came out. Okay. This one was at the bottom of the deck. Uh, triumph, over, triumph of the lies. Okay. So, this person was peaceful with their person, all right? Or you're going to be peaceful with this person with uh, peaceful among thorns, okay? Peaceful among thorns is saying that this person is a thorn, but they see you as peaceful. So you're going to be peaceful with this person triumphing over lies. That's very interesting, uh... Scorpio, maybe this person is talking about their past, okay? Seems like this person is talking about their past, how the person who hurt them and disappointed them had lied to them. Like maybe they had cheated on them or, or did them dirty, okay? And they triumphed over the lies by uh, ending the relationship. One more card. One more card for Scorpio. Someone rising Venus. Give me a clarification. Clarify. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they, they had a mask on. The person who they was dealing with have a, had a mask on. Or this could be saying that this person that you're dealing with is wearing a mask. That they are not as peaceful as they're pretending to be. That there is a lie. This person is still heartbroken. This person is still dealing with the pain. Okay, of what happened to them in the past, but they don't want you to see that because they know that having sex with you is healing that wound. Okay, and that's what I'm saying right here, Scorpio. But you can see straight through it, Scorpio. <laughs> so they ain't lying to no damn body. Look, <laughs> they ain't not lying to no Scorpio. Scorpio, like, look here, you uh gonna have to come truthful with me or I'm out. Deuces. Scorpio, if this resonated with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, okay? Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, Scorpio, like I said, I'm going to get you next time, okay? And so until next time, peace, love, and light. Hold tight, baby.